and I'm a senior, and I do persuasive speaking, poetry, and humorous, and I'm going to share my persuasive with you right now. Cue the sad music, the pictures of innocent, abused animals. Some celebrity comes on the TV screen to tell you about cruelties that are right under our noses and that you can help stop these cruelties for just pennies a day with your donation to the Humane Society of the United States. I'm sure you've all seen a commercial like this asking you to donate to the HSUS to help save the abused animals in their ads. Today we will look at why the HSUS is bad for animal agriculture by looking at the history of the HSUS, the motives for their activities, what their actions mean for animal agriculture, and what actions can be taken to combat the misguided actions of the HSUS. According to HumaneSociety.org, the Humane Society of the United States was founded on November 22, 1954. Their first task was to push for the humane slaughter of animals. In 1958, the Humane Slaughter Act passed. The Humane Slaughter Act states that animals must be slaughtered in a humane manner to prevent needless suffering. Other early priorities included ending the use of animals for experimentation, the protection of wildlife, and training of employees at animal shelters. The current president and CEO of HSUS is Wayne Pacelli. He was hired in 2004 after serving for nearly 10 years as the organization's chief lobbyist and spokesperson. During his tenure as HSUS president and CEO, Pacelli has spurred major growth for the organization, which is now the nation's largest animal protection organization with 11 million members, an annual revenue of $160 million, and assets of more than $200 million. However, behind this facade, is an entirely different side of HSUS that very few people understand. The HSUS is in fact a multi-million dollar lobbying effort aimed at eliminating animal agriculture in all forms. My goal is the abolition of all animal agriculture, said HSUS Director of Animal Cruelty Policy, John Goodwin. According to reports filed with the Internal Revenue Service, less than one half of 1% of the HSUS's budget goes to hands-on pet shelters. In fact, a poll of animal shelter professionals found that 71% believe it misleads people into thinking it is associated with local animal shelters. But that's not all. The HSUS is notorious for planting one of its own as an employee within farming operation to stage instances of animal abuse to be videotaped. These videos are then artfully edited to prove the animal abuse is rampant on farms and ranches across the country, only to be discounted later when third party investigations reveal the truth. The actions of HSUS go even farther than intentionally misleading videos. In 2006, the HSUS made ending the slaughter of horses in the United States one of their top priorities without considering the repercussions. According to the HumaneSociety.org, the HSUS was instrumental in passing the American Horse Slaughter Prevention Act, which ended the slaughter of horses in the United States. But what effects did the ban really have? Preventing horses from being humanely slaughtered subjects horses whose working days are at an end to a life of pain and starvation when their owners can no longer care for them. As a result of the American Horse Slaughter Prevention Act, there has been a decline in horse prices more instances of animal neglect and abandonment, and concerns for the welfare of horses being exported for slaughter across borders, according to heartland.org. In fact, according to abcnews.com, in Colorado, horse neglect and abuse increased by more than 60% between 2005 and 2009. Also, in 2010, 50,000 horses were exported for slaughter, compared to in 2000, when virtually none were. However, Wayne Pacelli and HSUS have continued to push for the ban. Pacelli says, lifting the ban will not solve our problems, and we should also ban the export of horses for slaughter. Luckily, many animal welfare experts, such as Colorado State University animal science professor Temple Grandin, have warned people of the consequences of doing so. 
According to an article in USA Today, written by Oren Durrell, July 19, 2012, Grandin says, banning the export of horses would make matters worse for horses, not better, because unwanted horses would go onto an underground market in Mexico where there's no supervision at all. The HSUS even agrees about the horrific conditions of Mexican horse slaughter. According to the HSUS, horses sent to Mexican slaughterhouses are transported in crowded cattle trucks. In addition, the absence of humane slaughter regulations means anything goes. So why should you care? If the HSUS successfully eliminates animal agriculture, this could end the supply of raw materials used to make many cosmetic, pharmaceutical, household, and industrial products, according to Where's the Not Meat, November 2011. The adhesive holding your binder together, the cosmetics you are wearing, the pharmaceutical medications you take, even the antifreeze in your car are all made of animal byproducts. However, we can all take action to combat the misguided actions of the HSUS. How? Stop giving them money and make your voice heard. As a result of the intentionally misleading and dangerous actions by HSUS, people have begun to speak out. Several websites, including HumaneWatch.org, are now devoted to revealing HSUS and their tactics. In addition, well-known individuals have begun to push back, including Nebraska Governor Dave Heineman. It's no secret that Heineman is not a fan of the HSUS. He has taken a firm stance regarding the HSUS and their tactics. He has essentially told them, not in my state, and has said he will continue to defend his state's number one industry, agriculture, and the people whose livelihoods depend on it. HSUS is anti-agriculture. You don't need someone from Washington, D.C. coming to Nebraska to tell you how to raise your animals, said Heineman in an article in the North Platte Telegraph, written by Andrew Rattrell, September 26, 2012. Today, we looked at why the HSUS is bad for animal agriculture by looking at the history of the HSUS, the motives for their activities, what their actions mean for animal agriculture, and what actions can be taken to combat the misguided actions of the HSUS. As you can see, the HSUS clearly does not understand how animal agriculture works. They're out of touch with farmers and ranchers who are doing everything possible to take care of their animals using the most humane methods available to produce the safest, highest quality food source in the world. It's not easy, but they do it because they love it. Although the HSUS likes to make people think that their actions and ideas are in the best interest of everyone, their actions speak to their true motives. The HSUS was founded on a noble vision, but that vision has been hijacked and turned into a destructive force against the honest, humane, hardworking men and women involved in animal agriculture.